Mia, it's so cool you have a lizard. Rhinozilla is sweet. Yep, gotta say, I'm a fan myself. What exactly do bearded dragons eat? I'll show you. It's just about dinner time. Nice. Wait, are those live crickets? That's what Rhino eats. Uh, that's kind of gross. It's not. It's the same thing he'd eat if he were wild and a part of a real food chain. Food chain? You know, a food chain. It's the feeding relationship between organisms in an ecosystem. I knew some animals ate others, but I didn't know it was a chain. Oh, yeah. The food chain has different levels, sort of like a video game. It goes like this. Producers, herbivores, carnivores, decomposers. All living things need energy to live, and they get their energy by eating. When one type of organism eats another one, energy is passed from one level to another. Whoa, that's a lot going on. How does energy get passed to another level? Here, check out this energy pyramid. The chain starts at the bottom with plants, the producers. They absorb their energy from the sun. Plants use that energy to make their own food. The rest of the animals on the chain are called consumers. Consumers are plants or animals that get their energy by eating other living things. There must be a lot of consumers then. There are. The first level of consumers are called herbivores. Herbivores get their energy by eating plants. Crickets are herbivores. They munch on leaves to get the energy they need to live. A lot of insects are herbivores, but so are bigger animals too, like giraffes, elephants, and koalas. So the energy from the plants goes to the herbivores that eat them? That's right. It moves from the producers to the first level consumers, the herbivores. Sweet. What about animals that eat meat? Carnivores. They get their energy by eating other insects and animals as meat. Rhino is a carnivore. So are other pets, like dogs and cats, and wild animals like wolves. I hope nothing eats Rhinozilla. Carnivores do eat other carnivores. There are two levels of carnivores, second level and third level. Those higher carnivores are the third level consumers. Animals like owls, lions, and tigers are third level consumers. Since a bearded lizard like Rhino is a second level consumer, that means another carnivore higher up on the food chain would eat him. Time out! I don't want Rhinozilla to get eaten. Me neither. But in the food chain, third level consumers eat second level consumers. So in the wild, it'd be game over for Rhino. Well, I'm glad he's safe inside his cage. Are there any more levels left on the chain? Just one. Decomposers. Decomposers break down dead plant or animal matter and release the nutrients back into the soil. So that's what happens when a plant or animal dies? Right. Decomposers like bacteria break them down so the energy they contain is transferred to the soil for new plants to use again. So the energy just keeps getting reused? Exactly. And if that food chain is broken, it hurts all of the organisms on the chain, not just one. Let's see if I have the energy to remember all the links in the chain. Go for it. Let's start at the bottom. All right. So the food chain goes like this. Producers, herbivores, carnivores, and decomposers. A food chain is the feeding relationship between the organisms in an ecosystem. Organisms on a food chain depend on each other for energy. And if the chain is broken, they're all affected. There you go. The chain lives on. And as your reward... I offer you a delicious, nutritious cricket. <laughs> I think I'm about done with that food chain for today. Got any pizza? Now there's a food chain even I can link up to. Let's go.